just shared a hug near midcourt with Casey Mortzell. About to jump at center circle with a guy that he's battled with and practiced many, many times here in this city. DJ Horn coming off another excellent scoring game, and he tips in his own miss to get it started. Find that consistency. Don't get bored with winning. Can you turn around and rise to that level when it's not versus a top 10 team? We'll find out this afternoon. O'Connell steps inside the line, and DJ Burns tips it up and in. The rebound quickly to O'Connell. The block out from Burns. DJ Horn pulls up and hits. I go further to say I'd like to see Burns flex his early muscle. Try and really chase baskets. Dongo filling the lane gets his first two. The DJs have scored all seven for NC State. The freshmen have scored all five for the Jackets. Casey Morissette, welcome to the action. Jaden Taylor looking for his first shot. Well defended. Oh, saved on the baseline. O'Connell splashes into three. George able to silence this rowdy Wolfpack crowd. Pari had eight rebounds against Carolina on Tuesday night. Middlebrooks swallowed up by Gapari. Wolfpack have cooled off after a scintillating start. There's the block from Diara, but the stick back is good for Tyjean Claude. Need to produce baskets rather than work it to guys who don't have it right now offensively. Miles Kelly, teardrop two. I think conditioning has played a role in it. I, I think DJ has all the talent in the world. If he can commit to better conditioning himself, he'd return back to that star, because that's who he was, star for the pack a season ago. Strong one-handed rebound. Kelly's deflection goes right back to Taylor. Taylor the basket and one. For early offense, it may not look pretty. It may not look how it was designed up. And talking with Coach, he's a joy to coach, so he's a good young man. I just think there's... Wow, how Taylor, about Taylor? Showing off the defense, showing off the effort in the backcourt. Tennis shoot. The freshman George finds his space and puts it in. Shot clock down to seven here for NC State. Jaden Taylor pops and buries the three. In and out for Debo Coleman, but on the glass. Kapari, I make a clock, keeping it alive. Sets up Sturdivant for two. Casey Morissell. Tough turnaround for two. Nate George has seven points to lead the Jackets. Looking for more. Got them all. Three for George. Nobody wants to play them, understanding what they're capable of. The pack in the midst of it here this evening. Parker's three blocked by Kapari. Kick to the corner. Georgia Tech cannot buy a bucket from three. Gapari comes right back to it. I'm experienced in a lot of different ways. <laughs> <laughs> I bet. Kelly hangs in the air and scores. Beautiful ball movement. You got to take that one for George. You got to take that, George. O'Connell the steal. Plays it back for Horn. Buckets. If you're three or four, the lone bright spot offensive, you can't pass it up. George had the shot, then Ocado in transition looks, draws two defenders. Eyes in the back of his head. With the clock winding down, Kelly, tough two. Tough two. And the foul. Love that young man's game. Working on the freshman. Welcome to the show. And he comes up short. You gotta take advantage here, George. George's turn. Beautiful ball movement. Kelly connects. Seven to shoot. Kelly versus Horn. Back to Sturdivant. Finds some space and puts it in. What an impressive shot. Miami, Georgia Tech, and Pitt. Every game counts. Every moment matters. Kowasi Reeves was silent in the first half. Duana lost his footing there coming down on the catch as he caught it, then trying to elevate. Certainly first, stunted. First field goal attempt. Duana only played a couple minutes in the first half. 
12 first half points for Nate George. There's the left hand that fans from Chapel Hill will remember well. Nate George. Kelly, pull up. Rebound for Duana. Good pass. Kelly again, knocks it down. Largest lead of the game for Georgia Tech. Horn was hit and he scores. Through the contact is a jump shooter off the right rhythm bounce off the ball screen from Burns to hit it. Especially early on with the struggles they were having. George, not this time. Rebound battle and Diara emerges with possession. Horn. Why not? Unable to make the shot though, and here's O'Connell the other way. Morcel to the basket. Jaden Taylor up in the pressure on Kyle Sturdivant. And there's a bad pass intercepted by O'Connell. The veteran takes it for two. These are the same moves that these shots would typically fall a season ago. They're just not at the clip this year. Jackets needed that in a massive way. O'Connell looking to drive and pass. But Taylor's going to need a shoot. With a clock winding down, he gets to the rim. Burns back up there. Taylor takes it. Kicks it. Now he'll take it, make it. Casey Morcell. It's a nice move. In this zone, you got to get Morcell the touch. That's where you collapse the defense, that mid post. Touch for Taylor, missed the shot. Kelly tapped the rebound off Middlebrook's head. He keeps it alive inside. Morcell, catch, and finish. Miles Kelly's a nice candidate. Give him a ball screen here, let him operate, try to get downhill. He threw it off Morcell's foot, but we don't get a whistle. Outlet pass to Taylor. Showtime! Basketball. Jaden Taylor. Georgia Tech down 14. It's to score points quickly. Corner three for Reeves. Kowasi Reeves with his second triple of the half. Horn hasn't touched the ball this possession. Taylor forced to fire and he knocks it down. Taking a look on the other side, I mean, this is just Jaden Taylor. Simply better offense. That's just what it was. One team shot at the buzzer of the shot clock doesn't count. NC State Six scores. Right. Good point of. Sturt of it. And one. Sturt of it got. O'Connell on the hip and never relented. Then on the other side, Sturdivant, sturdy on the drive. Keeping him on the hip and playing through the contact. Jordan Tech's not going to go away as they extend down to the zone, throwing a bunch of de different defensive looks at the pack to try and confuse him. Taylor wide open. Bam! 19 for Jaden Taylor. Kelly answers. It's a big time move. Both Horn and Taylor, 19 points apiece. Taylor's been the hot hand recently. Shakes his defender and scores. Oh, that was pretty. By the way, O'Connell just grabbed his sixth rebound to go along with six assists and five points. And that's beautiful for NC State. This group is a four-guard front. Is a tough out. They found their lineup. Kowasi Reeves has had the hot hand here in the second half. They're certainly not out of this. Down nine with two and change left. Oh, Nate George doesn't get the call, but he gets the three. Taylor rejected. Gets it back, and he stepped out of bounds. Remaining in the game, one minute. Not be any wasted dribbles. Eight-point game. 53.8 left. They can finish off your old team, the Irish. Kelly for three. Puts it in. 44 seconds left. They're Time not out of Georgia away. Tech. Coleman gives it up. Sturdivant kicks it. Reeves needs it. Got it with three seconds left. Ultimately, it's going to be NC State's day. Diara and one with one point.
minutes to go. No time leaves the clock, and then Georgia Tech has a chance to come down and chase points with three seconds. It's a right pass and a smart pass on Marcel to look ahead at the yard for the layup. Missed the free throw. Six points is the final margin. Kevin Keats wins his 200th game as a D1 basketball coach.